Mask-wearing sociopaths are never a good thing in Westeros, but what makes a crab feeder such a terrifying threat? Chock full of the politics and drama that made Game of Thrones popular, House of the Dragon fills in the gaps of Westerosi history during the waning period of Targaryen rule. Of course, by the time Game of Thrones rolls around, the Targaryens are all but extinct. But in the prequel, they and various aristocratic families of old Valyria still maintain tenuous control over what would eventually be known as the Seven Kingdoms. However, there's definitely a conflict brewing on the horizon. Game of Thrones has its fair share of heroes and villains, and even more characters that happily straddle the line between. While House of the Dragon is still at the very beginning of its arc, it's already quite clear that the show follows the general vibe of the original. As such, there's reason to believe that several backstabbing, double-crossing Game of Thrones archetypes will eventually emerge, as well as a visually captivating villain to unite at least some of them against. Indeed, Episode 2 appears to deliver on both fronts. First, Lord Corlys Velaryon grows weary of King Viserys and the small council's apathy toward the growing threat in the Stepstones. When the king is reluctant to send forces, believing that doing so would cause open warfare, Corlys aligns himself with the exiled Daemon Targaryen. The episode also gives us a glimpse at the threat the Master of Boats is so concerned about, a monstrous masked figure called the Crab Feeder, and the crab-themed torture that appears to give him his name. But who is this character? Why are they important, and could they potentially provide a Night King-style threat to Westeros? Let's find out. It's important to note that House of the Dragon is based on George R. R. Martin's prequel book, Fire and Blood. As such, even dedicated fans have much less written story to draw from than they had in Game of Thrones. Even so, the masked purveyor of crap-themed brutality we see in the closing moments of Episode 2 is almost certainly none other than Kragus Drehar. In fact, Corlys has already explicitly confirmed this back in Episode 1. A man called Kragus Drehar has styled himself the Prince Admiral of this triarchy. They call him the Crab Feeder. If the masked burned Drehar is anything like the rather more ordinary-looking version in the source material, he's about to become a pretty major player in the series. That's because he has the leadership of Mir, Lys, and Tyros, collectively known as the Triarchy. Now that he has the Stepstones, he's a force to be reckoned with at sea as well, and one that Lord Corlys would clearly prefer to avoid dealing with in any capacity that doesn't involve open warfare. Much like his book counterpart, the show's Kragus is known as the Crab Feeder due to his peculiar tendency to leave his helpless enemies tied to debris on low tide, turning their drowned flesh into a crab banquet. Considering the location of the Stepstones and the apprehensive views of Lord Corlys, the area this ominous figure is now holding is an important shipping lane. The Crab Feeder's presence in the Stepstones will no doubt cause some serious disruptions to Corlys's business, which is why he's attempting to lure Daemon into this conflict. Needless to say, Drehar will certainly be an important player in the upcoming episodes of House of the Dragon. However, it remains to be seen whether he has the might to stand against dragons.